Oh, I thought that was a screenshot. <laughs> what is up, y'all? Listen, I, I'm going to have to stop recording videos previously, pre-recording, whatever you want to call it, before I even get a chance to put them out. Because I've been recording so many videos, y'all. Anyways, y'all, this your girl, Go Mouth. Hey, I go with this here. How y'all been looking at in these last couple of videos? And honey, this is what it looked like. Look close in person now. Okay, so now, I have been... Um, uh, moisturizing and sealing my hair every day, like I'm supposed to, like a good little girl. And what I did, moisturizing and sealing, not with not using oil, but I've been using my S Curl spray and my moisturizer, the LC method, not the O, just the liquid in the cream. I didn't do the O because I didn't think it was necessary because I do it every single day when it's net when it when i do it every single day i don't necessarily need no oil because that's just oil on top of oil on top of oil on top of oil on top of oil honey i don't need all of that every day mm. only time i would probably use oil is if as if i was most likely not going to um be moisturizing and sealing my hair like if i was gonna skip a day or something i don't need oil every day but the liquid and cream on my hair be calling for it, it just sucks it up sucks it up sucks it up um i guess you call that high porosity hair that means my hair is highly porous that means it is sucks in you know stuff real quick like it just evaporates on my hair all like this stuff but anyway Shelly, this is my hair guess what i did moisturize and see this morning with both of these this morning and it is that was probably like I probably did it like this morning, like 9 o'clock, and it is right now, it is 5.30, like for real, real time. So, this is what my hair looked like after the old, those many hours, and that's what it looked like in the back. Get a good shot. Okay. That's what it looked like in the back. I done had these braids up in my hair for two weeks now, y'all, so it's time to take them loose. And if y'all been watching my um, videos, y'all know that I want to try me a little roller set, y'all. I want to see how it look like with some grandma curls up in my little head. So I'm just going to take these out. It's time to take these out and, mm, I guess I'll wash them or whatever. I would. I can't wait till these things get long, because honey, when these things get down here, hold on a minute, down here, oh, I'm going to be like, can't nobody tell me nothing. They can't tell me nothing. Well, I'm gonna take my. Okay. Don't do that. Note to self. Don't swing your head or you get dizzy. Okay. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and spray these a little bit more since I sprayed them this morning. They need to come loose now, honey. And they've been in two weeks, so I'm pretty sure we got some tangulation going on up in here, okay? We got some tangulation. Going on. Can't be eating this thing on moisturizer. Ooh, my bottle getting a little light. Somebody asked me, was I still using the Escrow spray? Yes, honey. Every day. Every day. I have to use it. It's like part of my resume. Stop talking, girl. This is stuff spray out like a whole. So I'm getting it in my mouth while I'm talking, so I got to be careful. And I'm just going to mo moisturize that. Rub it in a little bit. Rub it in. Oh, let me sit back. Rub it in. Rub it in. And then, yeah, I'm getting ready to wash it, but I still moisturize and seal it before I wash it. It's kind of like a pre-poo. Oh, well. I, well, I ain't finna wash it today anyway. I'm gonna probably wash it tomorrow or the next day. I don't know when, but in a couple of days. But I need to take it loose so I can detangle it or whatever. Just to, um, you know, just to take, put my hair out of this misery probably. Because it's probably got a little bit of, you know, need some detangled up and now going on. By, by sitting in one spot for, you know, so long. Am I too high? I don't know. By sitting in one spot for so long. On my head, because two weeks is, two weeks is not a long time to have a protective style, but it's a long time to have two braids, because two braids don't last two weeks. Not not two braids in my real hair. It don't last two weeks. Maybe if some weave was in, in you know, had something to do with it, it might last a little longer, but... I'm trying not to like braid or twist or whatever intertwine any weave onto my hair um as much as as I possibly can, okay y'all? Because um how am I all up in I'm all up in y'all grill. Hold on, let me see some. My chair won't get no lower, no higher. Or did it? Um uh, what I was gonna say, yeah, I don't I think my hair 
responds better when it when there's no weave in it as far as growing i think my hair responds better to the growth um process if there is no weave involved now mind you i still do wear the weave now i would much rather wear the weave pieces you know what i'm saying like like you know how i been getting my hair braided all last year and i would put like the 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 the, the drawstring ponytail on top and all of that good stuff that i don't mind but if you talk about adding hair you know that 99 cent hair i don't know if it's 99 cent no more but you know dollar 79 89 whatever hair that you braid into the braids that kind of hair i don't think my real hair responds well um to that weave i don't i don't know why but it don't respond well to that weave as far as growing now my hair i mean it can it can hold a style real good but as far as my real hair benefiting from it i don't think it does at all i honestly don't buy especially just by my own experience because if y'all been watching me for a while y'all know i used to put box braids in my own hair and all of that kind of stuff but honestly in the long run of me doing that i think it actually hurt my hair well i i'm re, let me rephrase that i don't think i know it actually hurt my hair more than it helped my hair especially now that i've you know changed up some things and i look back at my hair my hair was not flourishing as well with the weave in it you know it was not flourishing as well as good as well as well as good i don't know child but it wasn't flourishing good um with the weave in it now that i that i have changed up my regimen you know it is working better for me i ain't telling y'all not to put no weave in here because some things work for some people that don't work for others okay so i'm just saying what works for me so once you experiment 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 we had to experiment try the verb what's the experiment that's not like gum <laughs> but once you guys are uh, experimenting your hair and stuff um then you'll know what worked for you but don't experiment to the point that um you get a whole lot of major major damage now if you see your hair doing a little bit wrong you got to you got to stop it at the gate because if you let it go too too far then you got to start all over you know like it's, it's you got to start all over and you don't want to get to that point where you got to start all over you know so i mean not by no fault of your you don't want to start over by your own fault okay I had to start over by no fault of my own plus my own fault a little bit. But mostly it was from no fault of my own because my hair um, shed uh, real bad from the, the drugs I was taking from chemotherapy and radiation. If you don't know my cancer journey by now, um, I, I went through chemotherapy and radiation and I lost a lot of my hair. So at the end result, I had to cut it. You know, I had to cut off what was damaged. Honey. I doctored on it and I babied on it as long as I could. But it it didn't it didn't work <laughs> my brain wasn't uh actually thinking it good either so anyhow if you damage your hair by your own fault okay um don't wait until you completely damage it okay just like i'm I'm trying to say like okay if you wear those wigs if you wear those uh what you call them loop them wigs them lace front wigs okay if you the person that wear them because everybody a lot of people wear them i ain't gonna say everybody but a lot of people wear them um lace front wigs if you wear those now okay just say you only done wore one wig maybe two and then as you wore your wig uh as you took off your wig you noticed that your hairline was starting to you know you, it was thinner than normal so you notice that right okay at that point that's when you should say hey maybe i don't need to wear these wigs or maybe i need to do something different or not put the glue on when i wear the wigs some kind of way you need to go ahead and solve your problem that's if you care about your hair okay if you care about your hair if you don't that ain't got nothing to do with me okay um so um if you care about your hair, you might want to stop at that point. Because some people, some people, I don't know who, but some people will see that, oh, this this thing in my edge. But my hair was so pretty. My hair was so cute. My wig was a bomb, girl. It was a bomb diggity. And, and, 
you went ahead and decided to put on another wig because you really don't care nothing about your hair because you never wear your real hair out anyway, okay? So, I think that's some people mentality. I can't say who, but I'm pretty sure that might be a few people mentality. I don't know for sure because that ain't mine. Um... And then when you take off that wig, you're going to see a little bit more of your edges. Maybe, maybe not. Some people wear wigs and don't have no problems. But I'm just saying, if, in, with any case, if you wear box braids and you realize, hey, a lot of, I, I, my hair didn't grow as much as I thought with the box braids. Um, and I had them in for two months and I lost more hair than I gained. Maybe on your next go round, your next hairstyle, you might want to question the box braids and don't put them in there. Try braiding your own hair up until you can, you know, take baby steps now. When you see it ain't happening for you, honey, don't, don't put box braids back in your hair. Because then whatever damage you saw from the first go round, it might happen again. Then at that point when you take the box braids out again, you feel what I'm saying? Then it might cause more damage than it did the first time. Then you look in a whole hot mess. Now you got to chop off all your hair because you done ruined it and you got to start over. Ain't nothing wrong with starting over. I'm just saying. Live your life. If you want to wear box braids, you only live once. Wear your box braids if you want to, honey. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but I'm trying to say if you want to have a grow journey, okay? If you want to have a grow journey, if you're trying to grow your hair and you are experiencing things that don't work for you, I'm not against weaves at all because if y'all been following me a long time, you know I like weave. I like wigs. I like ponytails. I like drawstrings. I like wigs, 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 mama them, okay? But... Just like with your shampoos and conditioner. If you notice something that's not working right, if you notice a shampoo that don't make your hair as soft as the bottle say, that it's supposed to make soft, and it ain't did it for you, and you wasn't feeling it, try, I wouldn't finish that bottle just because I got a full bottle. I wouldn't. I might try it one more time. I might try the shampoo one more. I might. But if I try it one time and it ain't working for me, baby, if trust and believe, I might still have it in my stash. But I most likely will not be trying it in my hair again because I don't like to do things to my hair that's like risky. Risk my hair of its growth process, okay? I don't want to be risky with my hair. And as y'all can see, um, I have been faithfully uh, wearing my bonnets. I faithfully wear my bonnets, okay? If anything has changed within my hair journey that when I first started and up until now, that I didn't do because y'all know I don't try all kind of growth products. Y'all know y'all follow me. I done started. I I, I do the wild grow. I use the virgin hair fertilizer. I've been using that for a long, long time. But I never saw the results that I'm seeing now. And the only thing that I did different between then and now is I started practicing length retention. And the for the most important part of my length length retention was to faithfully, okay, faithfully, okay, faithfully wear my hair bonnets. No lie, faithfully. I wear these bonnets too bad every night. I'm not trying to sell you no bonnet. I'm just trying to tell you what I did, honey, okay? Every night that focuses on my ends. I do not wear my hair down, rubbing up against my clothes and all that until I need I need to get where I want to be. You feel me? Not something I would do 24-7. You feel me? So, I um, mainly practice on keeping these right here, this part of my hair right here, protected, okay? And you can't just lay down in the bed at night and go to sleep when you want to and wake up when you want to and you don't got nothing on your head. You just can't do it, y'all. You can't. Because, I mean, you can if you want to, but if you're on a hair growth journey, don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling y'all what I did to gain growth. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I'm not lying. The only thing I changed in my hair regimen to get this much growth is I started practicing length retention, and I stopped focusing on growth. I stopped focusing on growth because you know what? God is going to allow your hair to grow regardless of what you do. If you don't put no grow grease, no grow nothing in your hair, your hair going to grow regardless. You just need to focus on your ends because your hair will break off faster than it grows. That's why you never see any length. That's why you never see your hair growing this away because it breaks off 
faster than it grows, okay? Because it breaks off because of something that you doing. You messing with your hair too much. Um so you'll never get to see your growth, you know? Quit playing in your hair all the time. I know I'm playing in my hair now, but this is just on the video. But I'm actually I ain't playing, I'm actually detangling it. But um it's it's um length retention is something that is necessary if you on a hair grow journey. Now y'all y'all can see my hair for itself and tell me my bonnets ain't been blessing me. Okay, some bonnets and some water and some prayer. I ain't gonna say only my bonnets, honey, but they played a major part in. Cause I lay down a lot. I lay down and around all the time, and um, my bonnets are a big part of uh me now, especially because I lay down a lot. I'm home all the time. Um, my bonnets play a big role in, y'all see how my hair, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger the more I comb it. Um, let me turn around so y'all can see. Dang, I got on a hoodie. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have a hoodie on, but, um, my bonnet play is, my bonnet is, I, I want to say my bonnet is the number one thing that I do to protect my hair. For real. And to anybody who ever said anything to me about wearing my bonnet out in public, so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> they say I'm this, they say I'm that, I'm causing trouble, I heard. <laughs> I wear my bonnets where I want to wear my bonnets, okay? So, um, if you guys have not gotten a bonnet from me, if you have gotten a bonnet from me, make sure you wear your bonnet, okay? Make sure you wear your bonnet. Follow my channel. Practice practice length retention if you want me to elaborate a little bit on that. In another video, please feel free. I just came to do a takedown video of my hair to show you guys what I'm working with, okay? What I'm working with. And I will be... And if y'all want... If y'all want to see a, um... I don't know what, those, what you call those videos, like a hair journey video uh from i don't know from from when but <laughs> i don't know through the years or whatever y'all let me know below then i'll try to see if i can um scrounge up some pictures to 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 do one of those type of videos so y'all can see my hair and it's lived through different phases in my life okay because a lot of people tend to think that uh i've always had long hair <laughs> A lot of people say that, girl, y'all yeah, always been long. How long you been following me on YouTube? I've been on YouTube for 10 years now. Have you ever seen my hair this long? This long. Have you ever? Have you ever? No, you haven't. I can answer that for you. But this is what my hair looks like now. This is an update, 2020 update, 2020, January. And I will do some update. Wow, look at that hair. Look at that. Tell me my bonnets ain't working. Tell me God ain't good. Tell me. Okay. Okay, y'all. So that is it, y'all. I will, um, if y'all got any questions, any, any questions, please leave a comment below because I need to answer them in a future video. Um, Hopefully I'm a soon video because I need some video ideas y'all. Uh, thank you guys so 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 much for watching and that's all I got to say in this video and I will holler at y'all later. Bye